so I am feeling really bad right now. Turn right on West Siesta Rock Road, then turn left. I just left a customer's house that was very nice. Really nice people, really nice home and stuff like that. And um, I had to refuse to haul off the carpet. Turn left on North Continental Reserve Loop. Because um, I saw that there was evidence of bed bugs. Not that they had them right now, but they had had them in the past. And I'm no bed bug expert, so I don't know. I do know that they can live for like six months or a year or something in these bed covers that the, uh, they make a special bed cover right here. I'll show you right here. zipper and stuff like that on them. Anytime you see one of these bed covers. Drive point three miles. Then turn right with, on the uh, road. With the zippers on them where it's completely sealed up, it's a bed bug cover. They can actually live inside of those covers. What it is, it completely seals up your box spring and then another one will go on your mattress and it completely seals up your mattress. That way they cannot get out and roam around the room or anything like that. And they can survive in there not feeding on you without any food. Turn right on North Silver Road. They can survive in there for like six months or a year or something like that. I can't remember. It's been a long time since I've done any research on them. But anyway, I took uh, just a couple little short things right, of video miles on North Silver Road. right there so you can see evidences of say if a customer does have does have have them have these things going on in their home then you can be assured that they do have bed bugs or they have had bed bugs and you're not going to want to haul that stuff away just for the sake you don't want it coming home with you as a matter of fact i want to have to do a detailed cleaning on my vacuum cleaner and stuff like that because wherever i went around the edges of the walls and stuff like that and that's where they're going to hide out if you'll notice in this little short video right here around the plug-ins and stuff like that bed bugs are attracted to heat that's why they get in the bed with you because of your body heat so they're going to be around any kind now talking about them I feel like I got stuff crawling on me anyway <laughs> uh, anytime there's any kind of heat or anything like that they're going to be around um, electronics uh, plug-in outlets if you open your drawer your drawers up on your nightstand and stuff they're going to be in the tiny little crevices and stuff like that is where they're going to hide until they sense some kind of heat and always open drawers they're going to be right along here is where they're going to be at if you see any and, and then um they're going to go to the heat so uh if you see powder around the baseboard and around the uh, edges of your 
plug-ins and around the if you'll take the little flap that's on your mattress that's on a person's mattress and, and pick it up they're going to be hiding under there if they've got any because that's where they love to hide the little part where they sew the top on has just a little bit of a lip if you'll take your thumb and just flip that up they're visible they're not so microscopic where you can't see them so if you'll flip that up if you have suspicions that somebody might have bed bugs you can take and flip that little edge up right there and um, you'll see them if they're there if you want to look right underneath of that flap right there where it's made that's where they're going to be hiding at if you see any in your uh, like I said if you want to double check for any suspicious but anyway uh, good indications is that stuff around the plugins like I just showed um, they have a stuff called um, I can't even think now uh, RIT I think is the name of it it's a powder that you use around um, I know this because a friend of mine had bed bugs one time and we completely gutted the whole room took off light switch covers everything that left the room was completely wrapped up in plastic and taped completely sealed up I mean we threw away the bed dressers everything and we sealed everything completely up before we even carried it through the house so nothing would get dropped off and spread out throughout the house because usually they're going to stay usually they're going to stay in just the one room unless you track them throughout the house then they'll then they'll uh able to be spread but most of the time they're just going to be in the bedroom where you where you're sleeping at night and stuff like that and they're going to be where your body heat is so um you can't never be too careful and if you Left on road to north silver if you do road. see Thank bed bugs road. i would highly recommend that you just leave the job and explain to the customer say this is why i'm leaving i don't feel comfortable here i had all right to do it but i didn't see any evidence of actual bed bugs i just seen where they had had them at one time or another so that's why i chose not to haul the carpet away Turn left on north just to be road. safe and it don't take a filthy house or anything like that i mean a person the place i just left was a really nice really nice house there was real clean people and all that it don't take somebody that's filthy that looks like they're living with pigs and stuff like that to uh, to have bed bugs. They can simply come from travel, say uh, going overseas, or one of your kids could left even on road to North Silver road. one then of your left. kids could even spend the night with somebody and bring it home in their you know their little uh, sleeping bag or whatever. I mean. There's just numerous amount of ways that you can you can get them. It's not just from being filthy. However, they do tend to be most of the time. If if somebody does have them, they are filthy. But today was proof that you don't have to be filthy to get them. This, this like I said, this was a really nice house and there was really clean people. So things happen. I mean, the guy might travel. I don't know. He might travel overseas or, like I said, well, somebody might have brought it home from another friend's house or whatever. Uh, the, the friend of mine that actually had him their self was uh, somebody had given him a chair and the bed bugs was in the chair. So that's how he got them. So, I mean, there's numerous amount of ways that you can get them. You don't have to just be filthy. So just keep your eye out because we are installers and we are in different people's houses every day. So there's all kinds of things that we can come in contact with. So every little bit of knowledge, I think, as far as uh, stuff like that, I mean, you got to be careful. You know what I'm saying? A rusty razor blade could be infected with you never know what. So just going in people's homes, you don't know how they live. You don't know what kind of lifestyle they have. So you can never be too careful in a stranger's home, we'll put it that way, and all knowledge is beneficial.